Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. While Nicole's doctor collects EJ's DNA, Belle negotiates a crap bargain to keep Brady out of jail. Brady is compelled to make a deal with Kristen on Days of Our Lives Today. EJ provides a sample of his DNA for genetic testing, and Lee and Melinda's matchmaker strikes once more. When Wendy and Tripp are having sex in the apartment, Lai interrupts them and laments his awful date who tried to put him in jail. But they were actually getting along before he realized Melinda was attempting to record a confession. Tripp advises him to give her a second chance, pointing out that she has gone through a lot. Lai is saddened to learn how her daughter Haley passed away, but it will be too soon if he never sees Melinda again. He even has a new date for tonight. A chick-looking Melinda buys Sloane a martini at small bar after creaming her in court. She is reminded by Melinda that she had a solid case against Colin. Sloane sits but is unable to drink due to her pregnancy. Melinda inquires about keeping the child after being taken aback. Sloane outlines recent history to show that it was deliberate. So you got pregnant to give Eric the baby he didn't have with Nicole? Asks Melinda in conclusion. Sloane asserts that she also wants the child. Now that her family is completely gone, she is starting a new one. Melinda doesn't like being alone very much either. She talks about their catastrophic date, which Lai interrupted when she tried to record him. She didn't plan it because she initially had no idea that he was going to be her date. She was having a good time, and they even shared a lot in common. But instinct took over, and she recognized a chance to extract a confession. Of course, he realized what was going on and left. Sloane is aware that Lai isn't particularly moral, but he is wealthy, appealing, and cunning. He might be the ideal partner for her, making him worth a little crow. Melinda is unsure of Lee's desire to see her once more. However, he will meet her there tonight because she has a new date. Melinda remarks on how pleasant it was to speak with Sloane. They ought to repeat it. Sloane nods before walking away. Eric wonders how Brady could be so incredibly stupid as to threaten Kristen with a gun at John and Marlena's. Although Brady is aware that what he did was reckless, he was anxious to find Rachel. Now more than ever, Eric is aware of why he did it. He informs Brady that he will soon become a parent. Brady hopes Eric won't be disappointed when everything goes wrong, and it turns out Sloane is the mother. Sloane, according to Eric, is nothing like Kristen. She is a decent woman. Brady is delighted for his sibling. Eric values that, especially given that he will be looking to him for guidance. Given that he just threatened Kristen, which Rachel overheard, and then called the police on him, Brady is unsure if it is a smart idea. He is now considering charges for attempted murder. Eric begs him to persuade Rachel to retract her comments. She cannot lie for Brady. He is unsure whether she would do it even if he did. Eric promises him that he would be there for him, but that he must depart for their first meeting with Sloane's obstetrician. E.G. goes to the hospital with Nicole to meet with Dr. Ingrid Sorensen. They refuse to reveal the gender of the infant, so Sorensen requests a sample of E.J.'s DNA. She is looking for genetic indicators of inherited illnesses that he might pass on to the child. The doctor then departs to prepare for an ultrasound. Kristen is urged by Bella, who visits the Demera estate, to keep Brady out of jail. Belle is reminded by Kristen that she wouldn't assist her with the custody agreement before she erupts. Brady also brandished a gun at her. In order to get her to retract her statement, Belle points out that both parties are to blame. If Brady agrees to sign the shared custody arrangement, Kristen will retract her statement. Belle will carry it out. Tripp prepares dinner for himself and Wendy at the apartment, while Wendy expresses sympathy for his friend Haley. He reveals to her that they were wed. She gags when eating pasta. According to Tripp, they were only trying to pass as a couple for Haley's green card. But he ended up falling for her. She might be at peace and want him to be content, he imagines, and he is joyful. Before she goes back to work, they have a long kiss. 
Brady invites Bill to see him at their parents' house. She gives him the paperwork for shared custody after explaining Kristen's arrangement. When Kristen enters, as long as Kristen keeps her part of the crap bargain Bill struck, Brady won't sign it. Brady threatens to give custody to John and Marlena if he is imprisoned when Kristen objects. Kristen changes her mind and contacts Melinda to apologize. She adds that Rachel will be instructed to follow suit. Kristen hangs up and says, your turn, to Brady. Later, at Small Bar, Melinda calls her matchmaker to voice her displeasure about her date's tardiness. As Lai enters the room, she realizes he will be wearing a blue blazer that fits that description. It couldn't be him, Melinda says, never again. Might it? Nickel runs into Eric in the nurse's center after her visit. He confirms that he is also there for an appointment. Sloane approaches and declares she is expecting. E.g. that Dr. Sorensen tell him the baby's sex undercover when they are alone. Without the consent of her patient, Sorensen is unable to provide any information. He claims that you can't fault a guy for trying. The fact that he will be the father of a healthy child is all that matters. EJ's genetic DNA sample is eerily zoomed in on by the camera. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.